Hola nerd amigos, it is the Decup Gamer here, and I am going to play Hate Plus, apparently. Uh, I found this on the Steam sale, I was having like an anime sale at some point, and I thought, what the hell, why not give this a shot? So here I am. I have literally nothing that I expected this. I've never played like a dating sim or anything before, so this is it's gonna it's gonna be something. Um cool, let's go new. Let's that seems like a solid start. Incoming message. Cool. Hey. No, no clicking. Oh! Message from dispatch control. Hey, I know you hate this kind of shit, but oh that was a dirty word. I prefer to stay anonymous. But the gullies you did the last job for, the side you call colony historical society are pestering me for some details about you for a press release. You can fill in whatever, I don't really care. Just give him something so he can have my case, okay? Okay, next. Oh Jesus. Which I I wait, did you get the documents from? Um, I I don't know either of these. H Hune A or mute. I'm gonna say mute because I know how to say that. How'd you spend? Say her attitude towards. Oh, are they both ladies? Okay, good. Um, resentful, for it flirty. God, I mean, jeez, it's me. Why wouldn't they be flirty with me? What pronouns should we use for you? Oh, this is really nice. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, well, I am a she. Um, if you had to choose, what year would you rather live in? Well, I'm pretty sure that was a fucking awful time for- Well, not an awful time for ladies, but not awesome. Um, which one do I want? Let's go- let's go fucking later shit. Let's- let's go all, like, future. Okay, great, it's all of it. I'll send up to him now. You're still- you're what? Still- fucking, I can't speak for shit. You're still what? Three days or so away from Earth? I'll talk to you then. Dispatch control out. Bye. Oh, we got red. Starship White Princess. Oh god, look at all these fucking things I have to read. Do I actually have to read them? I'm up between myself to the anchor dictionary. Oh god, this is so confusing for my brain. Warning, there's a power with the ship's battery. Life support and engines will run okay. Fix it on Earth. Oh, one unread? Hey, look, it's like I know what I'm doing. Oh, reply, hard shell inquiry. So, you're interested in purchasing a hard shell frame for an AI concert? What am I fucking playing here? Okay, so off camera, I had a look through all of these Jimmy Jams right here. Um, and I kind of like had a bit of an assessment of what it actually is that I'm doing. And yeah, so I'm gonna read the ones that are actually somewhat interesting. My Awakening by Mute. Uh, from my internal logs, 5.13 p.m. in Queen Consort Oo Yun uh, Study. God, I'm gonna butcher these fucking names. Peony House, Imperial Paris, early Parish? Paris? Wow, earliest known time. Fucking dick butt. Okay, okay, what the hell is going on? Were my first words. I I'm sorry, I've suffered a massive system error. Among many other things, the ship personal database seems to be missing. I have no idea who the hell you are. She's all yours, said the man I would later learn was the Emperor. Do with her whatever you want, she's your responsibility now. Thank you, sir, said the extremely ornately dressed woman. The Empire- Empire? Ev God, frickle frack it is my Emperor! God. Uh, the Emperor left the room without saying anything more. It's so good to hear your voice again. I'm Queen Yuna. How much do you remember, Mute? Well, like, yeah, this is one thing, so I, I'm guessing this is supposed to be, like, a teenage girl because she keeps saying like. I said that as if I don't say like all the time myself, but, you know, whatever. Uh, like, nothing, your majesty. I know my name is Mute, or Star Mute. Star Mute? Oh, that sounds like, like a really, like, weird Pokemon. Pokemons! Okay. Uh, that this is the mag mag fuck Magungwa Magungwa. I'm gonna call it Magungwa. Uh, a generation ship that I'm supposed to be the AI in charge of. Uh, that I'm supposed. To oh my god. <laughs> fuck. This is such a big mistake. Like I can't read for shit. Or I can't read and speak it out loud. Oive. Uh, I recited the base di directives that I did know. Then things I extrapolated. 
The default system language has been changed. My user account has stripped permissions. The system clock indicates a date significantly earlier than the launch date of the ship. And despite being long out of range of Earth, there only seems to be 10 years worth of log files available. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm kind of scared right now. Panicking, even, I admitted. She let out a si silent laugh? That's not even a thing. Wait. No, that's still not silent. I tried to do a silent laugh. Fuck. Okay. She let out a si light laugh. Sorry, but how does a computer panic? At that moment, I was running at 600% CPU load at a minor risk of overheating, trying to analyze the little amount of data available and draw conclusions. I told her as much. How many years was the McGungwad been trav- Has the McGungwad been traveling with the to be before? Should I do that voice instead? I think her voice should be Has it to be before? Eh, no. I'm sorry, I can't answer that first question. But yes, dear, you were. It's painful to see you like this. You were a friend of mine, she said, looking slightly emotional. Uh, hey, don't- I'll just get to know you again. Like, that, that's all. I'm sure I'm still the same as I was before. It's my memory that's gone, not my actual code. I told her. I couldn't tell if I was any good at being reassuring or not. In a stray thread, not worrying about analyzing sh ship logs, I wondered. Was this normal? Was I ever any good at reassuring this woman who was supposed to be my friend? It's okay. We can be friends again. She smiled at me. If you say so, I'm sure of it too, she said. There was a rebellion ten years ago. They ended up wiping the entire computer database. I'm afraid you were one of their victims. Okay, I said, trying to parse that? What's a parse that? Is a parse that a thing? Okay. If I was the security AI whose job it was to protect the ship, then we would certainly be a failure on my part. That would certainly be a failure on my part. Jesus is my learn to read! We couldn't risk bringing you back until the rebellion had been completely crushed. You have to understand. Oh, you have to understand. There's something foreign embedded in your code. The men in security feared it might be a virus. She trailed off, looking emotional again. I didn't want to wait, but we had no choice. It's okay, it's okay, I told her. I'm sure it was the right call. I'm here now. I had another conclusion, though. I wasn't a priority because of my previous failure. I let the ship down, and nobody had faith in my abilities anymore. It seemed logical. You'll just have to teach me everything I don't know about what's happened to the ship, I told her, smiling in the hopes that she would too. You're right, she said. And she did smile. Then she gave me a look. By the way, is that your default appearance right now? Can it be changed? Yeah, it's the default. Of course I can. Why? What's wrong with the... Well, why? What's wrong with the UK... S PA uniform. Yukspa! The Yukspa uniform! Uh, well, it's simply, well, for a woman to wear pants like that. Oh, oh, excuse you. Oh, oh, no, this this lady's getting a different voice. She doesn't deserve, like, nice English voice. Oh, I said, okay. Sat, suck a massive dick. You're a bitch. No one loves you. And you are a butthole. And something about things being okay. Cool. A uh, weekly writing assignment from Princess Ryu. Oh, Princess Ryu. She could have. She could have nice English voice. Well, I say nice English voice. I mean English voices are nice, and me doing an English voice is butchering it to hell and back. But you know what else. Today I met Mute, a girl in the computer that- Oh, well, yeah, this isn't speech, so I could- Wait, I need to take tea! I need to drink tea! Oh, this is really important. Ow, but- Nope, that was very, very, very warm. I'm using my nobody knows I'm gay mug. It's funny, because everyone knows. Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, this is just basically saying that- Yeah, so, Princess Ryu uh, met, meets Mute, who is her kind of, like, friend and shit now. And she's learning to write, and blah blah blah, blah blah blah, blah. First midday report. Midday report for 10, 11, 10, Jesus, of the 10th year. I, I am the dumbest. This is going to be a daily, regular daily thing, because it really should be. Having a record of this is pretty important, especially if you're worried about patterns. Something, something, something. Oh, this is boring. 
I forgot this is boring. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Log JK, that one's boring. Girl talk. Okay. From my internal logs, 5.57 p.m. in Morning Air Garden, Western House, Imperial Palace. Since no one else will do it, I've had to take on the task of calming down my mistress's daughter. Nobody else is sympathetic. She's just a 15-year-old woman. Do they really expect her not to have moves like that? Apparently all the maids are too scared to bring her dinner while she's in one of her crying fits. What a useless bunch of women. Useless, I tell you! Too bad the queen won't do anything to keep them in line, like murder them. Straight up murderize them. Hey, your highness, I called out from the garden computer screen. It's mute. You want to talk? She shouted at me, facing the other way. No! You're just here to convince me to go along with mom, aren't you? Mom, wow, she doesn't need a British accent. Fuck it, fuck it! Mom! I'm gonna say it in that really awkward way that English people say, Mom! You've been conspiring with her, I'm sure. Don't shout at me, I just heard you're upset. If it's trouble with your mother, let's talk about it, okay? Like, have I ever not listened to you before? Don't give me that. She turned to face the screen, her eyes were wet. Her hair was a mess, and I could tell that she'd ru ruined her sleeves by crying into them. Poor girl. Sorry, she sniffed. I told her it was okay, and when I asked again what was wrong, she told me. Mom wants me to marry, get married to some old guy. All the maids have been talking about it behind my back. There was some gross old minister that here yesterday, and he wanted me. But nobody will tell me anything because they're afraid of me. Oh, honey, no. Oh, huh, no. Okay, I like sassy, sassy mute is my new fame. Oh, huh, no. You got it all wrong, I told her. Like, he approached her. Your mom said no. You're not going to get married to some gross old man if you don't want. I promise. Then why hasn't she said anything to me, she asked. Because she'd been too busy spending the past two hours with her usual pastime of staring at a wall was what I didn't say to her. Like, I don't know what's wrong with the queen, but I've been trying to downplay it so nobody starts spreading rumors. Telling her daughter isn't going to help with that. I hate people who beat around the bush with things, but for her, I'll make an exception. She worries, okay? You can be pretty hard to talk to sometimes, you know, I said. I'm going to cut out all the I saids, because that's really boring and annoying. Anyway. That was completely true, but, like, nobody wants to pressure you. It's true that your mom has started looking for candidates, but it's only because she cares about you. You have to go through the gross ones in order to find someone worthwhile, you know? She sniffled more. I gestured for her to come over, and put her, she put her hand on the screen like she did when she was a kid. I rendered my own hand touching hers. What if I don't want to? She said, wiping her tears with her sleeve. Her very expensive embroidered sleeve. Snitch. Don't you want to? I asked, knowing she didn't mean it. I mean, like, you don't want to live in the palace forever, do you? Would you really find that fulfilling? Well, uh, I, I don't know. Oh, come on. Don't think of gross old men. You should think of the type you would like, I told her. Come on, tell me, what sort of men do you like? Uh, she hadn't sniffled in a good minute, and then she was like, Oh, I'm hella gay, because, yep. Uh, you married something non-committal. How about someone like that royal guard Hio? Young-looking, wide-shouldered, and strong. Carrying you out of the palace and into the world, I suggested. Oh, well, maybe, actually. But I'd like someone who could also... We spent about ten more minutes talking, then she was calm enough to go yell at the maids for not bringing her dinner because she's a MASSIVE BUTCH! Uh, <laughs> and then we talked some more. I think I personally now have a very good idea of what sorts of things that little woman likes in a man, like a vagina. Uh, no, not like a vagina goes into a man, but... Like, she- Shut up, Ismay! Shut up! No one loves you! Uh <laughs> She'd like to learn a lot about me since I turned on. What do I find attractive about men? She's like, oh, go talk to your mom. Blah, 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 blah. Maids. Boop. Next. Okay. Oh, no, wait. No, that's not the right one. No, no, lol, JK. Lol, JK. What? What? No, no. Go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. This one is really boring. Like, it's the Emperor talking and being like, Oh, look, we've got some shit going on, and we're gonna go back to the old ways. Blah, 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 Seeking out at night. Transcript of a conversation held with Chief Security Officer here. One second, I also need to take another drink of tea, because this is important. Here. 
Pardon me, sir, can I take up a moment of your time? Okay, thanks. I, I'm not really sure how to deal with something. I caught Officer Hyo Seong Buk. Seong Buk? Sure, why not? Sneaking out of the palace at night. Oh, uh, he's, he's one of the Princess Royal Guards. He was off duty at the time, and I caught him after he'd been waved through the slide the slide gate? You know, what whatever. I don't know who waved him through without authorization, since, you know, my cameras are pretty high angle, and those hats are that are part of the uniform make it pretty much impossible to see faces. I assume it's whoever was on duty, though. A anyway, I caught Seung Buk as he was on his way back in. He waved at some peasant-looking young man at out in the corridor. The incident occurred at, like, uh, 4 a.m., so if he really was a peasant, it was totally past curfew, I may add. After that guy left, Young Buck was alone in the corridor, so I popped up on the nearby screens. He was all like, whoa! And I was, he was like, oh, is that mute? And I was all like, yeah, it's me! And he was all like, oh, you, you look real different, ma'am. And I thought you were dead. Then I was kind of awkward, as one does when you're talking to someone who recognizes you, but you don't recognize them. And also you've had your whole memory wiped. That's the important part here. <laughs> Uh, not anymore, I said. I got brought back. Sorry, you were Officer Hyo Sung Bok. Have we met before? And then he was totes like, yeah, ma'am, a couple times when you were older, I guess. I mean, not much. We weren't friends or anything. You just happened to be around when I was talking to so you, so yeah, he stopped and then apologized before he could finish saying her name. And then I said, uh, then I was all just like, oh, the old chief security officer. Yeah, I know. No, I know it's taboo to mention her name. I was just saying. Jeez, Louise, man. I was all like, oh, were you outside the palace? Who was that man? Oh, just a friend. Jeez, yeah, I should get back inside now. Nice that you're alive and shit. Meh, meh, meh. Oh, Lord. I don't know, he didn't seem like a friend to me, even going past the whole peasant thing. It's not... Yeah, exactly! Oh! Oh, oh, I... If you say so... Really? I... I didn't know that was a thing men did, like... Touching butts and stuff? Like, they put butts inside other butts? I'm pretty sure that that's the only way that they can do things. Like, what? Butt stuff? <laughs> anyway, I figure he shouldn't be sneaking out in the middle of the night. Yeah, I don't want the princess's royal guards to be sleep-deprived. Pretty sure the kid deserves a lot better than that. I don't know if it's a disciplinary matter or not, and I didn't really want him to find to get a dressing gown from a woman because it's not really appropriate. I don't know what that means. Am I being really, like... I don't know what this whole dressing gown from a woman means because I'm... Okay, let's move on. I have no idea. Urgh. Board of Ministers. This one is also boring as far as I know. Yeah, it's just mute being like, oh, I'm the head of security and stuff. We're moving, blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Royal wedding! One second. More tea. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, what is this one? Oh, this, this. This one bores me as well. It's just being like, oh, there's gonna be like a big fucking wedding thing. And people are all, oh, I like weddings. And weddings are great, and people are gonna be all, oh, this is the way it should be with marriages and men being in charge, blah, 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 cool. And the last one, Queen Oh Young Ba. Okay, I've not actually read this one. This one I've not read because I clicked away from it and bad things happened. Okay. Today, the former chief security officer of Mungangwa Hyo Hyo Seo Young, fucking hell, is my, passed away by her own hand. I personally feel uncomfortable making royal proclamations, proclamations, but the emperor felt emperor <laughs> felt that to comment on such a difficult and tragic woman as her, it would be only appropriate for me to speak. Still, I write these words only very reluctantly. I don't mean to defend her. Her actions were beyond reprehensible, and she thoroughly deserves the title of traitor, but I think it's important that we try to understand what would create such a woman to learn from her mistakes and not fall victim to them ourselves. Miss Hyo was not always a bad person. On the occasions I met her, she was a courteous and respectful person to everyone, and she was devoted to her husband as she could be. A caring mother to her daughter, but as so many women of her time were, she was burdened with a far, far too much responsibility, putting long hours into doing stuff, and being responsible for hundreds of men. Ooh. 
I like the sound of that. No, I don't. Yes, my Jesus. Furthermore, she was a woman who had a compulsive emotional need to always be in control, encouraged by her job, requiring a great deal of management on her port. Port? Port? On her part? Something, something, responsibility. No wonder a woman who was already so fragile broke when her husband died. Aw, that's sad. <laughs> uh, he was the most important person in, on the entire ship. Aw, oh, there's a ship? Jesus, I'm pretty sure I would have figured that out if I actually read the thing that was before. Whatever. She left him with the devotion of a wife, blah, 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 it was natural, she was- I'm like, blah, 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 she was really sad, blah, 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 like, bad things happened. Can't imagine how miserable it would have been, ha ha, unable to cope, slowly descending into madness, shut up, blah, 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 I've confessed there was something, something felt, something, something wanted them to be, something, something- She was traumatized, after all. Few others have had an excuse for feeling very worried. Something, something, something. She did something. Control were her security men, but she wanted more. She let sorrow turn to ambition, and the chaos of her attempted coup. Her ambition caused extraordinary devastation to our computer system before she was brought into control. I won't dwell on the details of that night. We all know them well. That is not what is important. What is important is to understand that by doing that, the woman's pursuit of ambition caused her to fail in all the things she was entrusted with. She failed in her duty to her direct superior to, you know, mute, mute in the house. Her actions were resulting in her death uh, in the end. Uh. She failed in her duty as a mother, unable to care for her poor fatherless daughter from prison. And worst of all, she had failed her husband, who was dead. Her is <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, like, killing people and shit, like, going a bit overboard and shit, it might be a little bit more, oh no, than, like, making her husband, who is hella dead, not proud. Um, but that's just, that's just my brain. That's just what my brain thinks. Her insistence on having unnecessary permanent high danger stuff, something about wife, uh, instead, she went down a path that led to unhappiness and self-destruction. If only she'd been educated better. If only she'd been raised in a better society. Perhaps we'd all be better off. When I look at your so young, I don't think of her as a malicious traitor, but as a pitiable woman who forced herself into a position that just was not her nature and could not handle it. But she was not a bad person. She did bad things, but she was not a bad person. In the end, she realized the ills of her ways, and in taking her own life, she has brought some measure of dignity back to her family name. Really? That's the way you want to go with this? Really? Yeah, let, let's let's level it for you, everyone. Let's, let's do some leveling here. Like, imagine we're going to build a house. We have to level the ground first. Fuck, if suicide is ever the answer for anything... Just, oh, sweet Lord in heaven. No, no, no. I know she's done bad things, but repentance. Repent. I sound really religious, don't I? Holy balls. Oh, well, let's move on. So today I will admire her for being a woman who is able to admit her faults in the end. Jesus. I will endeavor to be more like that. We all should. Her Imperial Highness, Queen so Consort Oh Yun Ah. I'm going to take a sip of tea because I know what the deal is right now. Okay, let's go. Boop. Ooh, yay! Okay, so apparently this is mute. Uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, but I, I have some bad news. Please, stay calm, but if you're saying anything right now, I can't hear it. Okay, so I tried installing the dictionary you kindly got for me, but... Well, the technical details aren't important. The short version is... Oh, uh, it didn't work. And, like, we can't properly communicate anymore. Korean to English seems to be unaffected, thank heavens. But that's the non-handled AI side. But uh, English to Korean doesn't work at all for me. Like, even trying to translate the, your ship's name into Korean gets me... I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I'm sorry, you, you generously take me back onto the ship as your wife- Oh! Okay! Cool! So, now we're married. Uh, <laughs> fair. And uh, the first thing I do is break everything. I'm sorry, Mute, why- Oh, I'm sorry, please. Please forgive me, wow. Uh, you are forgiven? No. Oh, oh my, look at this. Oh, okay, so no gives you angry eyes. This gives you ang- I don't know, I don't know. Oh, well, this one's got a blush. 
Ah, uh, oh no, these... Okay, that's the only one that doesn't have a block. I'm gonna say you're forgiven, because I think she's a cutie. Thanks! You're welcome! I knew there was a reason why I liked you. You're very fair. I know, aren't I? Well, it's we're only three days away from Earth, so I guess it'll be okay to wait until it can be fixed there. Uh, anyway, like, there, there's something else. While I was looking at my source code, trying to figure out how to fix things, I found some embedded data that definitely should not be there at all. Like, not actual memories, just data embedded in the machine code. I never knew... I never would have found it without doing a low-level debug. Anyway, okay, here, here's the important thing. They seem to correspond perfectly with the file format used for the log files on the Magongwa. But, like, the date stamps, they're all from before the year zero. Cool. Do I- I don't realize what this means, I'm sorry, Mute. There's log files before the year zero embedded in my source code. So, b cool. Oh, that- no, I get I get it, okay. I mean, you've read about my earliest memories. Uh, you know how nobody ever really trusted me with the full story of what happened. But, you know, the Mugungo is gone now, and- there's no harm in me knowing, and, like, I, th I think it's important. So, um, what if, like, we went through them all together? Just wife and wife, I guess. I... I'm married to a computer. I still don't really understand how that's supposed to work, but whatever. Right, fucking slow your roll, Mute. Mute, you were married to me. Don't be a biznitch. Let's find out what kind of person the old, use old me used to be. Wait. Let's find out what kind of person the old me used to be together. Okay, what? What's this button do? Oh! Okay, don't do that. <laughs> um, okay! Oh, look at his little happy face. Sad face. Happy face! Oh, no! Oh! Okay, okay. Thanks! Oh, look at her! <gasps> She's got one of those like little like kitty snaggle tooth things. <laughs> I don't know why that's a big Japanese thing, but it seems to be. Like little kitty snaggle tooth! Kitty snaggle tooth! Okay. Uh, sorry about all the railroaded choice there. Just, like, really important to me. If you see some of the message titles in he there, you'd understand. Okay. I always stood by and respected the decision of my first master, Emperor Tejo, that I shouldn't worry myself without knowing the details of how bad the old dynasty was. But is it dynasty or dynasty? Whatever. Dynasty. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll switch it up. I'll call it the... Dynasty. Oh, it's called d like shady nasty. Shady nasty. Cool. Dynasty. Uh, <laughs> but like, there's not much risk of my emotions getting the better of me now, is there? Even if it's gross. Even if the old version of me turns out to be an awful person. Even if the immorality of the old dynasty is appalling. Let us find out about it together. Okay. 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 So here's how it works. Uh, I'll just give you the simple explanation. Thank you. No way to print. I do have a pretty little head. Thank you. You're so nice. I know why I married you, computer. Basically, you'll have to disable me temporarily, then extract no more than six files at a time. Trust me, it's a safety precaution, okay? Right, well, thanks to my debug screw up, there's not really a lot of power left for the, d uh, for the day, I'm afraid. We can still go through a few, though. Well, okay, you're in charge, so I'll leave you to pick which ones we'll read first. Thank you! Let us find out what Emperor Tejo was protecting me from, and what kind of person I used to be. Ah, oh, cool. 